but it was our first day in Malaysia and we got scanned. But lo and behold, we are back here and I want to just tell you that it wasn't cool what you did and it wasn't okay to do that to tourists. Yeah. Who knows who will turn up and, it, and I was thinking that if he's seen you recording, then there might be some people on the way out that stop us getting out. Right, good, good morning from KLCC Park. Um, it's our last few days in Malaysia now and we're tying up a few loose ends. One of those loose ends was actually involved our first ever trip to Malaysia and it was involving a place called Kota Raya, if anyone knows. I don't know if anyone could see where this is going, but it was our first day in Malaysia and we got scammed. First hours, in fact. Yeah. So let me give you a little story time now. Let me give you a bit of background. We flew to Malaysia, and by the time we got to Malaysia, yeah. yeah, it was in December. Uh, by the time we got to Malaysia, we had been travelling for something like 18 hours, and we went straight out to a hotel and we checked in, and we put our stuff down and we wandered around. We had to get SIM cards. We ended up walking around and we went to a place called Petling Street. Um, just because all tourists ever said that, that Petling Street was where, you know, was very touristy and there's some good stuff you can get there. And we wanted to have a look, it's the Chinatown, and obviously we still needed SIM cards. So we found a mall called Kota Raya. And we wandered into this mall and we looked around and we spoke to this guy at a, like a phone stall, SIM card stall, who basically seemed very nice and basically said to us that he'd sell us some SIM cards. We told him it was our first day in the country, that, you know, we just got off the fly and, you know, we wanted... We told you we were going to Thailand next. Yeah, we told him that we were traveling. And he said to us that there is an unlimited data SIM card that he could sell us and it would work. And we could buy it for 30 days and it would work all across Southeast Asia. So the five days, we were in Kuala Lumpur for five days and we told him that and he said, oh, I work in Thailand when you go in five days. He was like, yeah, you pay now, but everything you pay will be usable yeah. once you get to like, Thailand as well. That was already a bit suspicious, I think. So we said, this sounds like a fantastic deal. How much? And he quoted us 85 ringgit per, per person, per SIM card. 85 ringgit, which works out as about 16 pounds 17 pounds um, and for UK standards mm, that's, you could get unlimited data for that so we happily were going to front him the 85 ring we didn't have a cash point so he happily led us to a cash point he was very friendly very talkative and very nice to us he wasn't anywhere near the cash point it wasn't any kind of scam like it was it was Maybank it was very busy so there was nothing dodgy about that we, we went back and he basically said to us great now that you've got the money out, uh, there is uh, a fee to install it, and that is an installation fee. And we said, oh great, I said, okay, all right, fine. How much is the installation fee? Can't be much. He said 15 ringgit each. So we said, what? And he said, yes, yeah, so it'll be 200 ringgit. And we said, okay, 15 ringgit installation. I said, I've never really heard of an installation thing, but okay, I said, fine. I said, we're, we're not in my country. This is the first time in Asia. We paid up the money and we paid him 200 ringgit. Anyway, so I went away and I was using the data like no tomorrow because it's unlimited. And after about two days, the data said it had run out. The internet suddenly stopped. And so we downloaded the app. He didn't tell us to download it. So we downloaded the app and we had a look on the app. And lo and behold, it said that I had one gigabyte of data and used up the one gigabyte of data. Julia had not used hers like a crazy amount so she had um, still still some data left and I went back to him and he didn't really acknowledge me he pretended that he didn't know me um, and couldn't remember doing this deal that he had done two three days ago I said I said well why why is it showing one gigabyte on here why is there only one data on here when you told us it was unlimited and he was acting very confused 
And he said, give me this sim, let me have a look. Let me have a look. So he starts fiddling around with stuff. Um, and by that point, he was acting very weird about it and the whole scenario was very, very strange. And so I stepped away and had to think about it. Why was he being so shady with, with it? You know, he disappeared to put the SIM card, to put the money on the SIM card in the first place or to do the deal, put unlimited data. He actually went away for five minutes and said, wait here. And then he came back with the SIM cards. He'd always, we'd always have to wait for him. He'd always disappear away from his stool. And he wasn't very helpful. Um, and he just wanted to kind of shrug me off. And I asked for a pin to put my uh, original um, SIM card back in the phone. And he said that he didn't have a SIM pin to give me, that he couldn't give me one, he couldn't even sell me one. Even though there was phone shops all around, he probably knows the people. He was being very, very unhelpful suddenly. And he did, just didn't want to know. So obviously we left Malaysia feeling a bit peeved. You know, we had been ripped off. You know, um, or so we thought, you know, maybe, maybe the data was going to work when we got to Thailand. So I topped it up, topped up 10 ringgit on there. And when obviously when I got to Thailand, it was like, nah, 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 nah. It was, you put roaming on, this is how much it's going to charge you. And it was ridiculous amounts a day on there. There was no unlimited data. Um, and he basically ripped us off. And by the time we'd really discovered that, we were already in Thailand, there was no going back. And that's kind of what I feel his plan was, was by the time we're gone, you know, we can't come back and we'll only discover it when we get to Thailand. And by that point, it's too late. You're not gonna go back for that. So, you know, one thing we haven't done is go back and see him. So what we wanted to do was go back to Kotaraya and show you um, what this guy had done. So Kotaraya, a bit of background quickly, um, is, been notorious we discovered this later for scams for phone scams um, you can even see there was a big brawl back in this video I'll show it now of people who were complaining that they didn't get their phones they were sold counterfeit phones um, they were charged 300 ringgit and then told it was going to be 1600 ringgit so they needed to pay more money um, and they weren't given their original money back there's certain reviews online about Kotaraya we thought this nice man in Kotaraya was nice and he was trying to help us out and being honest, but he wasn't. He was not at all. We wanted to go to Kotaraya and go and find out from him why he ripped us off, you know, and find out from him what he can do to basically put things right. You know, I'm happy with just an apology by this point because this is six months on now. You know, it's, it's long gone. And you know, whether he remembers us, I don't know. We're gonna go back in masks, hat on, um, and see if he remembers us. We'll find out very soon whether he does remember us. All right, here we go into the uh, into the rabbit hole. Sim cards? Sim cards? No? Don't do sim cards. No? Don't do sim cards? No, I do. It's expats, no? Is it, is it just phones? Expats, really just no? Phones. Sim cards, huh? Yes. <laughs> Hello? Finish? Yeah. What? What is empty? Empty? Yeah. Why? Nothing, yeah. nothing inside, nothing. Where, where can nothing I get, huh? Inside. Here? No more, sir. Where can, where can I get, huh? Where can I get? Behind? Where's behind? Where? Show me. Sorry? Show me. This is behind here. Okay. To be honest, dude, I think you know who I am. Because you sold me these X packs. Remember me? You want these X packs? No, nah, you sold me these. Yeah. Remember? No, nah, you sold me them. I saw you? Yeah. And then? You sold me these. And you charged us 200, 200 ringgit. Sorry? You charged us 200 ringgit for these, for these SIM cards. X pack. X pack, yeah. Do you remember in December? 
I remember it very clearly. Yeah, and you sold us, you sold us with one gigabyte, but you promised us unlimited. Now what's the problem? No. You sold us unlimited data that was going to travel across Asia. Sorry, it was going to travel across Asia, uh -huh. didn't. It only lasted one gigabyte. What did you the, the The package we, paid, we, we bought off you. Yeah. yeah How it much you pay this? Paid 200 ringgit. For one or two? Two. 100 ringgit each. 100 ringgit each? Yeah. So, sir, what's the problem? Well, you they, 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 didn't, they the didn't work. There was internet. no. Yeah, internet. Didn't work. Didn't work? No. You knew it didn't work because I came back and saw you and I said it does not working. And it was only one gigabyte you put on. You only put one gigabyte on it. I don't really appreciate, I don't really appreciate you ripping us off because we're tourists. It's not cool. And then pretending that you don't have the X-Pack or Cellcom or anything because you don't want to serve us. It's not already finished. Nah, but I, yeah, but I know you sold us these X-Pack. It's not already finished. Yeah, 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 I don't mind that. I don't need that. I don't need that. But you sold yeah, us, yeah. you sold Sorry. us these X-Pack. You were, you were stationed over yeah, there. Problem, I remember. What's the problem? What's the problem, problem, is, the problem is we paid 200 X, ringgit. Yeah. yeah, it didn't work. It didn't work. It only had one when gigabyte on it. When you, didn't you, work? You when told didn't me. Work? When didn't work? When didn't work? It didn't work in December. Sorry? It didn't, it stopped working the first week. We left to go to Thailand. First week? Yeah. Didn't work in. No. Both also didn't work Yeah. In. Yeah. Can I see? Yeah. We put, we put one gigabyte on it, if you remember. You, you put one gigabyte on it, if you remember, because you told us it was going to be unlimited data that was going to serve us for the next month in Thailand and across Southeast Asia. I checked first, sir. I checked first, sir. It didn't. It didn't. And you, you charged us 200 ringgit, which now I look at and now I realise, after being here, I realise that, that was unbelievable amounts. I'm, I'm shocked that you, you charged us you that much the, money. Another card? Yeah, yeah. The look. big one, the bigger one. No, we don't. Not anymore. I, I, I don't know, do you charge everyone 200 ringgit for SIM cards? Sorry? Do you charge everyone 200 ringgit for SIM cards? So, madam, what's the problem? Huh? That's the problem. What so do you want? Phone, what's the problem? Oh, the phone. But now I don't have it anymore. What's the problem with you, madam? What do you mean? What do you mean? What I mean is you know? I don't need to talk out right? Sorry? What's the problem? You, 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 know, you know what's going on yourself. You Sorry? know you're ripping people off. Sorry, sir? You know you're ripping people off. You know I you ripped us off. So, sir, I just tell no. you I need to check it what's the problem. That's you fine, that's fine. Look, I'm, I'm, no, I'm no, being fine. You can check it. We're not using We're it anymore. We can't anymore. use it. You say you pay 200 for each ride. Uh, 85 ringgit. 85 ringgit. And you charge us a 15 ringgit installation fee as well. 15 ringgit installation fee on each. So you, you told us, yeah. I've never heard of an installation fee on a SIM card. You charged us it. So what's the problem, sir? That's you the problem. That's, what's the problem, you tell me? Then I check what's the problem for you. That's you say, just using one make the data work. So, so, so why, why, when we came over here with the SIM cards, you wanted to deny any knowledge of having or knowing any SIM cards? Because you recognised us and you realised that you did. Check it for you, sir. I yeah, just, okay, wait, check it. Let me check it for you. What's the problem, sir? Then you say no. It finished no, within yeah. three days. It was a gigabyte yeah, you put on. It, it was in one week. It wasn't, it wasn't it even wasn't a week. So you charge us unlimited data. I mean, does unlimited data even exist on, on expats across countries? Because you told us it would work in Thailand. You said it would work in Thailand. Are you actually using one? Yeah, Southeast Asia. Are you actually using one? Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you wear the mask, I didn't remember you because I have many customers buy the SIM card here, yeah. sir. Yeah, so why, why, why when we wanted to buy SIM cards, you didn't, you didn't... Sorry? Why did you tell us you haven't got SIM cards when you do? You said... I don't understand. You okay. said there's no SIM cards. Yeah, the no SIM card already finished. No more coming, the new one. So finished where? already, sir. Finished already. Well, you just wanted to get rid of us. Sorry? You just wanted to get rid of us. You wanted okay. to get rid of us, yeah, yeah. Because you were like, oh, we haven't got, we haven't got um, SIM cards. Oh, look. Yeah. So what, 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 can you, what can you do about it? What can you do? I check first, sir. Two days or three days for me. Why are you even come back? I did come back. I did come back. And you, and you, and you pretended you just acted like it was nothing. You didn't know what was going on. I didn't know you. No, you what? acted like you didn't know what was going on. Wait, 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 and you know, over there, over there, standing over there. Are you other still? No, no, two or three days you come back there. Yeah, yeah, two or three days. For me, I pretend yeah. I didn't yeah. know you. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, oh, see, how can I pretend? Nah, I didn't say that. I said, I said, you acted initially like you didn't know, and then you looked at it and you pretended you didn't know what was going on and that you were you, surprised. You have, you have tell me what's the problem. The, the problem was, the problem was there was no unlimited data on there. You told us, you sold us unlimited data and you actually, you actually only gave us one gigabyte. So you, you completely lied to us and you took 200 ringgit out of us, which should have cost you 
about five ringgit. So, you know, five or ten ringgit. I don't really appreciate it. I paid ten ringgit. Ten ringgit for a SIM card, yeah, this should have been. But you charged us 200. You buy that one. But why are you charging 15 ringgit to people for installation? We did it should be just 15 ringgit. It's not, it's not, it's not a thing, that's not a thing. You took 30 ringgit off us for that, and then you, and then you took 85 ringgit for a non-existent. Then you non-existent deal. 15, 15, 30 ringgit, that's Yeah, well, you know. Sir. Unlimited internet from one ringgit. Hello, sir. 100 ringgit you charge. You can see it, sir. Right. Right. 100 ringgit. You charge. Right, right. 100 ring, ringgit. 100 ringgit, and you gave us. You gave us. Hello. One ringgit for one hour. One hour. Got this package. Hour, we never got any of these packages. We got. We got some dodgy package. Brother, you wait a while. It's a ten minute can, right? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah, inside the ten minutes. I don't know who he's calling though. Let's go away for five minutes. It's not worth hanging about. We don't know who these people are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get out of here quick, and then call the yeah, he, uh, he changed his time very quickly when he realised you might have been recording. No, I don't think he realised that. He did, because he was like, what's, he was like, what's going on, miss? He was like, what's your problem, miss? What's your problem? Is that what he said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Fuck with He knew what he was doing. He realised, he suddenly changed his tone and was like, fuck, I better sort this out. And I better... There's no point sticking around as well, because we've been... It's a bit of a hostile situation. Yeah. Who knows who will turn up? And, it, and I was thinking that if he's seen you recording, then there might be some people on the way out that stop us getting out by saying, you delete that now. Yeah. So I thought it's our opportunity to leave. Yeah. Trust me, it wasn't worth What are we going to stick around for? Yeah. There we have it. The guy that took off us 200 ringgit for two 10 ringgit SIM cards. Uh, was he going to help us? Um, his tone suddenly changed when he realised he may have been recorded and the recording was going on. Did you notice how angry he got when he realised he was being recorded? Uh, or he suspected it? You know, he, how hostile he got towards my partner, um, started demanding and asking her questions. You know, it, it was a very, very dodgy situation. A situation we didn't want to end up in in the first place, but obviously it went that way. Uh, I didn't want to hang around for when he disappeared with one of the SIM cards, you know, what was he going to do, when he's going to return with people to come back, you know, we've heard bad reviews about this place and some dodgy dealings going on, so we wanted to get the hell out of there, especially with my partner, I didn't want any confrontation. Um, what do you guys think? Have you guys had bad reviews in Kotorara as well? I've seen it all over the Yat, Lao Yat forums and in the news, so uh, let us know in the comments, otherwise guys, we will see you on the next one.